Hey everyone, it's Robert from On My Turntable. Hope you're having a great day today. It's Tuesday morning. Of course, it's my day off and it's raining. <laughs> Yesterday was such a beautiful day and uh, uh, sun was shining, you know, winter coats away. Now it's just coming down in buckets. So uh, hopefully it'll clear up uh, or later on this afternoon and I can enjoy getting out and uh, walking with the doggies. But uh, it's still a coffee kind of morning. Uh, today I wanted to do another series on which album is better and uh, I've chosen one of my secret gems um, great British blues rock band ten years after this is the album of space and time versus Cricklewood Green before I get into it, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. So those of you that aren't familiar with 10 Years After, uh, they're a British blues rock band, mostly popular in the uh, late 60s and early 70s. Uh, between 68 and 73, they had uh, scored eight top 10 albums in the UK charts. They've also uh, had 12 albums entering the Billboard uh, US uh, Top 200. Some of the best tracks are I'm Going Home, um, which uh, was featured in the three-day concert Woodstock back in 68. Um, I'd Love to Change the World, which uh, is a classic rock radio staple still today. Um, that's the song that kind of turned me on to the band, got me interested in the band. And uh, Love Like a Man. Uh, most, of their, uh, most of their songs are, are blues driven, uh, blues rock, and uh, hard rock. Um, I kind of discovered these guys by accident uh, back in the day when you could order um, albums through Columbia House. Uh, it was kind of an oops. Uh, I didn't order it, but I received it and uh, um, wondered what the heck this was and, and started listening to it and ever since then. And at a time I had, uh, uh, I wasn't always a collector. I had a bunch of albums earlier and I did actually have uh, quite a bit of their discography um, earlier uh, a few years ago and stupidly got rid of them. So I'm slowly collecting them back again and I will continue to to collect them back. So right now I currently have the two albums that I showed you and uh, uh, classical performances or classic performances of 10 years after. It's com kind of a compilation album. As I'm going home one of these days I'd love to change the world. Tomorrow I'll be out of town. Good morning little school girl. Uh, baby won't, won't you let me rock and roll you. Rock and roll music to the world. It's getting harder. Positive vibrations and choo choo mama. Uh, great compilation album on its own, but uh, I want to focus on these two albums that I just showed you. So the original members uh, of the band, uh, amazing, lightning fast, um, I don't know what you can say about Alvin Lee, he was just a, a, an amazing guitarist. Um, Alvin Lee on guitars and vocals. Unfortunately, he died back in 2013, but uh, he was one of the uh, true greats as far as uh, uh, rock and roll, um, blues-driven rock and roll. Just an amazing. Uh, Leo Lyons on bass, uh, Chick Churchill on keyboards, and Rick Lee uh, on drums. Uh, Rick Lee and uh, Alvin Lee are not related, uh, as uh, Alvin Lee was actually born uh, Graham Barnes. Um, don't know how he got Alvin Lee out of it, but uh, anyway. Uh, they've had 12 studio albums, 10 live albums, and a ton of compilation albums. Just a ton. So this album here, Cricklewood Green. I love the cover. Typical psychedelic uh, 70s style illustration. The 
this is on uh, Durham recordings this might be an original I just realized that I've never seen this label before part of Decca Records cool it says made in Canada by uh, London recordings of Canada that's awesome I never realized I never realized that uh, all titles were composed by Alvin Lee it's the uh, what else does it have here so again it uh, features sugar on sugar the road uh, working on the road 50,000 miles beneath my brain year 3000 blues me and my baby love like a man circles as the sun still burns away um, yeah it's a chrysalis London production so it was their fourth studio album released in 1970 so an amazing album just an amazing album lots of blues uh, lots of blues based structure great drumming rhythm sections and um, of course uh, Alvin Lee's super fast guitar work uh, opens up with two great bluesy tracks uh, Sugar on the Road and Working on the Road um, with a uh, combination of organ and, and guitar riffs together Uh, 50,000 Miles Beneath My Brain and Love Like a Man are examples of uh, 10 Years After's jamming styles great jamming songs uh, Love Like a Man is still um, played on the radio classic rock radio uh, Year 3000 Blues is a country kind of country based song which is cool uh, Me and My Baby have elements of jazz uh, and um, awesome piano solo by Chick Churchill uh, Circles uh, kind of a hippie style song um, and uh, as the sun's still burning away um, it uh, great guitar organ and uh, drums in the song it's, it's a great great song all together a wonderful blues based uh, album by the band just amazing and again this one that started me off in the band ten years after a space and time there's the boys there. This is on uh, Columbia 360 sound stereo. Sounds great, plays great. This features one of these days. Here they come. Big hit, I'd love to change the world. Over the hill. Baby, won't, won't you let me rock and roll you? Uh, once there was a time. Let the sky fall. Hard monkeys. I've been there too. And Uncle Jam. Uh, all songs written by Alvin Lee, with the exception of Uncle, Uncle Jam, which was uh, uh, written by the band. Um, yeah. Amazing. Amazing band, amazing album. So Space and Time was their sixth studio album, released in 1971. So between 70 and 71, they, uh, they put together three albums, because there was an album between this as Cricklewood Green was their fourth and this is their sixth so uh, within a year they, they shot out three albums which is amazing uh, it's one of my favorite albums by the band uh, and I've heard most of them as I said I had most of them at a the time uh, they're all unique in, in their own right but uh, uh, I, I'm not as familiar with Cricklewood Green but I could I could change my mind depending on what's going to come up next Uh, it's not as heavy as uh, Cricklewood, perhaps, or even their previous albums. It includes more acoustic guitar. Um, 
that might have been influenced by Led Zeppelin who mixed a combination of acoustic and, and hard rock together. Um, some critics uh, feel that's, that's why. Uh, the album reached number 17 on the Billboard's 200 and the single I Love to Change the World is the band's biggest hit. Um, you've probably heard it on classic rock radio. Um, the song itself hit number 10 in Canada and uh, number 40 in the US. Um, although it was their biggest hit, they rarely played it live, which I didn't realize. The other uh, um, single off of it, Baby Won't You Let Me Rock and Roll You, reached number 61 in the US. Uh, the album is, um, I guess in some ways, more pop oriented, even though it's not a pop album. Um, but it's uh, more e user friendly, I guess. Um, the songs are shorter, production is definitely clean, and it's. Uh, um, but it, the album itself still jams, and there's still great, uh, great solos on there. Lots of har harmonica solos, and uh, of course, great guitar riffs on it as well. Um, again, on its own, an amazing album. Crickwood Green on its own, an amazing album. So let's see which album is better. This will be interesting. So, again, this is just in fun. So it starts off uh, Crickwood Green, Sugar on the Road. days off of space and time. Sugar on the Road um, as much as I love one of these days because it does kick into a, a, a cool jam later uh, but I'm gonna go with uh, Sugar on the Road next is Working on the Road Cricklewood Green Space and time. Just push this a little forward here. Man, it's hard to rank these songs. Hi. Um, here they come is an amazing song. Working on the road, uh, great little song on its own for sure, but I'm going to go with the tie. Uh, 50,000 Miles Beneath My Brain from Cricklewood Green. This is one's going to be hard. I'm going to go a little further. <laughs> Next is I'd Love to Change the World. Uh, I'm not going to play much of this one. You've heard it before. Uh, I'm going to go with, with the tie on that one. Uh, 50,000 Miles Beneath My Brain is such a great song. And of course, I love to change the world. It's just an amazing single. So still one nothing for uh, um, 
sorry, it's still a tie. Uh, year 3000 Blues from Cricklewood. Just a short little ditty. Kind of a country style song. Over the Hill, Space and Time. It's funny, both songs are, it just works out that both songs are like a couple minutes long. I'm going to go with Over the Hill because I'm more familiar with it, but uh, um, Year 3000 Blues is still a great song. So it's one nothing, uh, Space and Time. Next is Me and My Baby off of Cricklewood Green. There's an example of his great Baby, won't you let me rock and roll you? Uh, space and time. Yeah. Come on, this is too hard. Uh, it's going to be a tie. It's going to be a tie. Still one nothing, space and time. Uh, Love like a man. Cricklewood green. I'm just going to shoot this one a little forward. Once there was a time, space and time. I'm going to go with Cricklewood Green, Love Like a Man. So that's again, brings it back to a tie. I'm hoping that this would, it would have gone this way. But uh, uh, Circles, Cricklewood Green. Let the sky fall, space and time. Let the sky fall. Gotta go with let the sky fall. Uh, <laughs> again, this is just hard. Uh, so that's one nothing for space and time. As the sun still burns away off of Cricklewood Green. And I'm just going to push this just a little forward. And we have Hard Monkeys, Space and Time. Man, they're so good. They're both good albums. Yeah. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go with Hard Monkeys. Uh, two nothing. And the next two songs are off of Space and Time. So it's gonna be uh, Space and Time by default because of the. 10 songs compared to 8 songs. Uh, so next is uh, I've Been There Too off of Space and Time. That's amazing. This is a, one of my favorite songs.
then it gets in, and once it gets kicks in, then we have Uncle Jam, off of space and time, a short little two minute ditty, but an example of the, the great mastery of Alvin Lee. Just an amazing guitar player. Anyway, that's all I can play on that one. I'd love to continue on. Again, and it's not no contest because both albums are, are awesome in their own right. And this is just a fun exercise. Doesn't mean that one's album one album's better than the other. It's just I could tomorrow choose completely differently. So again, Cricklewood Green, an amazing album. Check the guys out ten years after. And a space in time. One of my all time favorites. Perhaps yours as well. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye now.